Sing that ass a lullaby. Yeah, Joe. Yeah. I'm rolling solo in my photo, got my speakers on yeah. bang Trunk full of that brain, gonna go make the stain Get that cocaine, I'm on my way Live on the phone, one of my favorite new MCs in the game right now This dude's been making a lot of noise the last year We got Freddie Gibbs, what's going on, sir? Man, what's cracking, kid, man, appreciate y'all having me on here, man Yes, sir, man, I, I just, first of all, I gotta congratulate you on the Double XL cover That's that's pretty major right there, sir Oh, uh, man, appreciate that, man, shout out to Double XL, man They showed nigga love, man, I, you know, I, you know, I, I I never, you know, in a million years thought I, you know, wind up on the cover of they joint, so, you know, it's a blessing. Yeah, it seems like you've been working extra hard the last six months. Like, in the last six months, your buzz has gone from, you know, whatever to, you know, you're on the cover of Double XL. Yeah, I've just been, you know, just, you know, they start in the studio, and that's basically where I've been at. I ain't even, you know, did half the shit that I can do. I, I've been doing shows, but I ain't been uh, in the streets as much as I, I'm about to be now, you know, out there doing the groundwork. And, you know, I've just been, you know, doing that thing from the lab, and, you know, and putting out that good material is what's been keeping me afloat. Indeed. Now, for uh, people who maybe haven't heard of you, don't know your story, why don't you let everybody know what, what's the word on, on Freddie Gibbs, where you're from, how you got started in the game. Uh, I'm from Gary, Indiana. You know what I mean? Born and raised. Started rapping around, like, 20 years old. You know, my homeboy, Finger Roll, he had a studio in our hood. And right. uh, he put me in the game, you know, pretty much taught me how to construct songs, how to, you know, pretty much market and promote myself on the streets. And uh, with, within a year of me doing that, I got signed to Interscope. And uh, I was signed to Interscope for about a year and a half. Um, I recorded with a whole lot of different producers, uh, Just Blaze, for one, uh, Alchemist, uh, Polo to Don, a whole bunch of cats, J.R. Rodham. And I, uh, you know, did, did a lot of work over there and recorded a large quantity of music. And then, you know, after that, I got dropped. Now, you, you were in the military, too, for a little bit, right? Yeah, definitely. So 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 how was that, man? What, what branch were you in? That shit sucked. And uh, <laughs> I was in the Army. He said, that shit sucked. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. I was up. in the Army, man. It was, uh, like I said, it was a situation where I got, you know, pretty much put into it due to, uh, you know, illegal activity. Right. And, uh, you know, and um, I did it. And, you know, it was a, it was, it was a cool experience. Now, uh, what is, like, the scene like out in Gary, Indiana, where you're from? Because to the hip-hop nation... I guess you could say, you know, there's really no no identity except for yourself, of course. And if I just heard you and I didn't know anything about you, I, I'd guess you from Chicago. And I know Chicago's right there. We definitely, uh, you know, can relate to Chicago. We're right next door to Chicago. You know, that's like our, you know, that's like our, our cousins right there, you right. know, right next door. So, I mean, I mean, Gary, you know, it's, it, it's, a, it, it, it's Shitsville, USA, man. It's another impoverished city. Um, you know, wiped out by the crack era and the lack of uh, the industrial jobs when they left. It's like Detroit, so to speak. You know, I got a lot of family in Detroit, too. But if you know Detroit, then you know the type of things that I'm talking about yeah, in my music. You know what I mean? With the uh, loss of jobs and, the, you know, the drugs in the, in the city. You know what I mean? I mean, that's pretty much what Gary is. It's a po population of about 100,000 people, you know, with a very high unemployment rate and a fairly high murder rate. So, you know, it's, 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 a lot, it's a lack of shit to do. So it's like, you know, you got a, you know, a lot of crime, and, you know, and, and the education system fucked up. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's all things that I'm pointing out in my music. Yeah, and what I can uh, definitely appreciate about your music, man, is you know what you're getting when you listen to Freddie Gibbs. It's, it's just, there's no taking a break in your music. It's just always hard hitting the truth. Yeah, man, motherfuckers in the game just trying to do too much, man. Everybody's trying to be motherfucking uh, Superman and shit. You know, when they should, you know, I don't think nobody, ain't too many people, you know, just, you know, being humans and just telling a real story. And do just what they do. the heart with this shit, you know. I got to ask you about Pill. Uh, you guys, of course, share the cover of the Double XL together. Uh, you guys have made a lot of great music together. What about Pill or what about that relationship you think makes the chemistry on, on record between you guys so great? Uh, I don't know, me and Pill, we just, you know, we, we both got a good ear for the music. And, uh, you know, we know what tracks we want to hop on. So, you know, we get in that lab. It's like, you know, it's like clockwork. We just knock shit out, you know. We uh, we both doing this gangster rap shit. And, uh, you know, we both know what we want to hear. So, you know, we come come with the hook, come with, the, you know, a dope track. And, you know, we'll just, you know, we'll break it down on that thing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, me and Pill, we cool. You know what I mean? We actually friends. So it's like, right. you know. Have you guys ever talked about maybe dropping like a collabo mixtape together? That'd be dope. Yeah, man. We're working towards that. You know, we were just both trying to get established, man. He on that XXL cover, too. Yeah, you, you guys are doing I mean? big he things. He doing this thing to sign, you know, sign this deal or whatnot. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm just glad to see, you know, other niggas doing shit and doing good, man. And, you know, I'm just, it's an honor for me to work with him. Definitely, man. Now, um, like you said, you were with Interscope. 
right now you're on the cover of double xl so I, I can imagine you're getting hit up by tons and tons of labels um what what's the deal with that are, are you looking to sign again or are you going to try to do the independent thing uh i signed for the right amount <laughs> but uh for the most part uh you know i just want to just keep making this good music without nobody standing over my shoulder without nobody you know trying to tell me how to do this and how to how to you know market myself because i think that you know i in the game, you know, I don't know everything. I ain't gonna profess, you know, so say that. But uh, what I can say is that, you know, I, I know the direction that I want to take my career in. And if, a, if it's a company that, you know, want to partner up with me and, and uh, help me to get, you know, move in that direction, then I'm with it. If they right. got the right mindset. And But, you know, other than that, you know, I, I, I could care less about a record deal. I'm just in the studio right now, you know. Cooking Doing what up you the, do. Cooking up the dope. And I know you got the straight killer, no filler mixtape dropping. When can we expect it, though? When can we get the mixtape, man? Coming like the end, end of the month. So end of end this of month. month. Yeah, end of this month. It should be coming out, like, you know, end of this month, beginning of April. You know I mean? I'm almost done. You know, I'm pretty much done. I got a gang of songs for it. I'm just piecing it. It's all about sequence for me. It ain't never about the amount of songs. It's just, you know, what order I'm going to put it in. How they so, flow. Yeah, I really, want, my, I really uh, want all my projects to be cohesive, and, you know. Right, right, right. Now, I know I asked you about the label situation. How busy, I mean, I'm just curious, how busy has your phone been from the labels? Because, man, your buzz is so crazy, bro. Like, I'm, I'm imagining you're getting hit up by about everybody right now. Yeah, they've been hitting me. You know, I've been taking some meetings, you know. They've been, it's been, you know, it's been crazy, you know, the past six months, like you said. But, uh, you know, it's got to be, it's got to be a correct situation for me. I, I've been down that road with, uh, you know, signing with a major label. Yeah. So I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to say the wanna... Inscope. Me signing Inscope was a mistake. It wasn't a mistake. It was a learning experience. So, you, you know, but wanna... I don't want to uh, take getting... a step backwards, so to yeah, speak. Yeah, get in know? the same situation two times. Exactly. Yeah, that's what's up. Now, of course, um, you know, the double XL cover, you seem like a pretty real dude. Is there anybody, any of your peers that you felt probably should have made the cover that didn't make the cover? Uh, you know what, man? It, it ain't really left up to me to pick that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just trying to rap. You know what I mean? Right. XXL, they picked who they felt. You know what I mean? Was worthy of making it. I'm just glad they picked me. You know? Definitely. <laughs> uh, you know, I got homies that, uh, you know, in the game that, uh, you know, that I think was definitely worthy of. I thought, uh, you know, I thought, I thought Yellow Wolf was gonna make the cover. I was surprised he didn't make the cover. Yeah, that. Uh, you know, that definitely Yellow Wolf. I, I think he would have been a good, great addition to it. You know, but uh, you know that's all. That's all the media politics, man. I don't really get into who should have made it and who right. who did and, and all of that. You know, I leave that up to the people. I just, you know, like I said, I'm just blessed to be, you know, for my name to be in the mix. I feel you. So, you, so, so you got the mixtape coming. Um, album wise, are you working on an album? Or are you gonna wait until you know a label situation comes to fruition before you do that? Or are you, are you just gonna, you know, keep keep doing the mixtape thing? What's 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 the uh, 2010 I guess agenda yeah. for Freddie Gibbs. Uh, oh, I'm always doing working on the album. You know, my my debut album ain't came out yet. That's what I tell everybody. So, I mean, uh, to that point, you know, the business gets straight with that. But I'm just gonna keep putting this music out there. You know, through the mixtapes, through the features, through the videos. You know, however I gotta do it. You know, I'm gonna keep my face out there, keep my name out there. And, you know, uh, represent this Midwest and get this Midwest gangster rap shit back on the map. You know. There it is, man. Well, hey, we appreciate you checking in, sir. I'm a big fan of the music, and uh, it's, it's good to see, you know, people making music that they actually want to hear. Yeah, definitely, man. I appreciate y'all for having me, man. It's like I said, it's a blessing, man. Thank y'all.